Welcome to Wild of the World and you're joining me in Thailand today. Southeast Asia, we started in Bangkok and we took the train to Ayutthaya and Khao Yai National Park. And now we moved over to the islands. This is Koh Samoy. Look at this view. So far we did a pretty good job turning Thailand inside out on this big adventure. Koh Samui is for everybody. If you want to go partying, I would suggest you go to Cha Wang. But we go to La Mai, which is a more child-friendly place and we have a kid and a grandma. So we're gonna chill here on the beach and do some nice and interesting tours. Thailand is a very cheap holiday destination, as you might know. You can get a room here for about 10 bucks, but if you pay a little bit more, like 30, you get something like this. I'll show you. La Mai Inn has spacious apartments and bungalows right next to the beach. The main street of La Mai is also just around the corner. Today is a Sunday and in La Mai that's a special occasion because today is the night market. It's once a week and it's super nice. So we're gonna eat over there. Let's go. At this market we get to try all the different local snacks and later in the evening we blow the roof off this place. It's time to spend the day at one of the most beautiful beaches you can find on Koh Samui. And that's Coral Cove Beach, about a 20 minute drive from La Mai. And what stands out to me is that there's almost nobody here and we got the beach to ourselves. With the giant rocks on each side, it's a beautiful sight. Although it's a bit hot today, it's a very nice walk between Chaweng and La Mai. So from Coral Cove Beach, I'm walking back and I'm gonna see some really beautiful views here. My very impressive walk ends at Silver Beach, close to La Mai. It's also one of the favorite beaches here on Koh Samui, so let's head on down over there. I hopped from rock to rock and now I'm at a viewpoint where there's nobody. Like my own secret viewpoint at Silver Beach. This is so crazy beautiful.
Oh, that's right, we have mom visiting, so a babysitter. Tonight is party night. Koh Samoy is at its most beautiful again and we're going to go more inland to see this secret site. Don't tell anybody, it's beautiful. Today we visit the Tanim Magic Garden, also known as the Secret Garden. And there was a person here in the 70s who collected statues in his garden, Buddha statues, all other kinds of animal statues. And now it's all taken over by the jungle and his hobby got a little bit out of hand because there's like dozens of statues and it feels like a Indiana Jones setting over here. Really mystical. This mysterious place is highly photogenic and really worth a visit. The Secret Garden is situated on a big hilltop on Koh Samui, so on the way you have the most beautiful viewpoints and we stop at one of them, so check this out. Today we make a combination of first the Secret Garden and then a beautiful waterfall. It's the most beautiful waterfall of Koh Samui and it's named Na Muang. And you can swim over there, so let's go. We stop on the way for a creepy phenomenon because who thought that mummies only existed in the old ancient Egypt is very wrong. Here in Thailand they have a mummified monk on Koh Samui and he's right behind me. It's really creepy. The sign here reads that the monk was able to foresee his own death. Yeah. It was a bit early this morning and we took the minivan towards the harbor on Koh Samoy and now we're gonna catch a boat and go to Ang Tong, uh, which is a group of islands, greenish hills in the bluest waters and we're gonna do some kayaking, snorkeling, hiking, super fun. We saved the best for last, wow. We're here guys, uh, the boat trip took about one and a half hour and now we're going kayaking in the most beautiful waters and these greenish hills. Yes, this uh, area is quite amazing. And we're gonna search for a nice uh, hidden beach somewhere. So we arrived at the beach and we're going up the stairs to have a beautiful view over the bay. <sighs> it's already tiring. Wow, 
wow guys this stairs I think I lost two pounds going up in sweat alone it's pretty hot not that I need to by the way but the view is very incredible This was so awesome guys. I was just walking to the other side of the beach and I saw this whole family of monkeys coming out of the jungle. So I got here to get the rest and Jens loves this. This is a family of spectacled langurs. How lucky are we to see them up close. From Ang Tong we continue our journey and say goodbye to Koh Samoy as well. Next time I'll show you Khao Sok and much more. Subscribe and I'll see you then.